This is a nutrient autoanalyzer, and what it does is it allows us to automate a process of analyzing uh, nutrient samples. The scientists who are working on the experiments outdoors will bring me a small vial of seawater, and in this water there will be various sources of macronutrients, nitrate, phosphate, silicate, among others. I'll put the sample on this rack. The robotic auto sampler will come over. It'll pick up a small amount of the sample. It'll push it through these lines all the way through this pump. And as the water sample is loaded onto these channels, there are four channels on this instrument. They're loaded up into these little loops, and there are four of them. And then the sample will be pushed forward through these channels, and it will be mixed in all these little coils. And at each one of these T's, a little bit of chemical, a reagent, will be mixed in with the sample. And as it mixes, a color will develop. And what we're interested in doing is measuring the intensity of that color and relating it to a known concentration of the analyte that we're looking at. So uh, at this time, we're analyzing nitrate, phosphate, and silicate. These are, uh, in the case of nitrate and phosphate, they're the same types of macronutrients that you would have in fertilizer that you put in a potted plant in your home. Um, the algae, which are very similar to plants, but not really plants, they're protists, they need the nitrogen and the phosphate to build more tissue. And so it's very important for us to know how much, or what the concentration is of these nutrients in the water that we're growing the cells in. We are hoping to see if there's a difference in growth rate as a result of the different types of nitrogen forms. So you can have um, nitrate, ammonium, or urea, and the cells may grow faster on one form versus another one. We add a small amount of these different nutrients to the experiments outside, and then we measure the disappearance of the nutrient in the media using this instrument. We can then um, draw some conclusions regarding the utilization of the nutrients, and if we're lucky, we might be able to associate the type of nitrogen form with the toxicity of the cells.